Hello. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the design options under the Manage tab in Revit 2012. We're going to click the Manage tab and we're going to go scroll over to the design options. We're going to click the design options and you're going to see this menu pop up. In this menu you notice that it's all blank and it says main model. We're going to create a new option set. For this option set we're going to call this edge of building. We're going to call the first option round and we're going to call the second option that we're going to create right now squared. We're also going to create a new option set or another option set I should say and we're going to call it trees and we're going to name this one for round edge and we're going to call the next one for squared edge it doesn't really matter how you name these as long as you know what you're looking at and that's all that really matters at the end of the day so we're going to close this for now and what we're going to do is create a wall with this wall we're going to run it all the way to the corner and we're going to make a squared corner and you'll see why I'm doing this so while the walls having the wall selected we're going to click add to sets under the manage tab and we're going to add it to the round and squared what we're going to do now is alter the round one and the only reason I'm doing this is because I don't have any plans so I don't know exactly where these walls lie and the second I add it to an option I will not be able to see it again until I highlight that option so I would not be able to draw it into another one so having option round selected we're gonna go to home and add the wall corner which is round or rounded I should say alright so now that we have that done you can see that once this is selected it's gonna be round once this is selected it's gonna be squared so now what we're gonna do is add a few wall, a few doors and few windows let's add a door here and here with this selected we're gonna do something that allows us to change up the window pattern on this building we're gonna continue sticking with the round corner of the building just so that you could see exactly what these options can do so we're gonna duplicate this round and we're gonna rename it to round less windows so with this option what we're gonna have is we're gonna have a few windows along the side Oops, option wasn't selected see it will not let you put that window into main model because this wall is not part of the main model it's part of the round so we're just gonna continue and put some windows in here just make sure that there's a significant amount of these and then we're just gonna continue so now you see there's a few windows in here we're gonna go back to our manage tab and then change the option sets and we're gonna click less windows so as you can see the doors have stayed because I added them to both sets when I duplicated it but the windows have disappeared so what we're gonna do now is add a few windows not too many so that we could tell the difference and here you have it we're gonna have two different design options well in this case actually three but one of them isn't as finished as the other so we have this one with more windows we have the squared option which we haven't placed any windows or doors into and then we have this option so with these both options done uh, we're gonna stick with the primary one so now we're gonna go on to our trees and in case you wanted to know the way you would change your primary you go back to these options you would be able to click the option and you click make primary but we won't be needing that 
So now we're going to go into massing and sight, and we're going to place a few trees around. Just make sure that we're in for the round edge and not for the squared edge. We're going to few, place a few of these trees around, and we're going to make sure that we place them kind of close to the building so that you remember that they occupy that space with the square. And with that complete, we could go to the four squared edge and not get so close to the building. So now, what we're going to do is go back to our primary. And now we could change whether we want less windows or more windows. And you'll be able to see these in all of your views. As you can see, we have round primary, which was the one with more windows, or less windows, or square, which you can't exactly see. And now we have our tree option changing. And as you can see, it's our primary option that's selected for the edge of buildings. And that's pretty much it and maybe we'll be able to see this in the 3D view here you go these are our, this is our main option if you want the square edge square edge for trees and round edge for trees so there you go now you know how to use the options in Revit